Welcome back, y'all. Brandon Jenkins' 2011 album, Under the Sun, has everything fans have come to expect from this Oklahoma red dirt native. Recorded here in Austin, Texas, it's full of well-written, thought-provoking tunes with that familiar rock edginess. We sat out with Brandon to get the inside story behind the project. Let's check it out. When I first started out, I wanted to be a guitar player, just like any any teenager. You know, I wanted to be a, the next uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan or the next Eddie Van Halen or something. And once I got into college, I really focused in on being more of a songwriter. And uh, for years and years, I always had you know four or five piece band where guys were playing lead guitar. And then probably about four and a half years ago, my guitar player couldn't show up, and uh, and I just picked it up and started playing lead. And it you know it was a little shaky at first, but. I realized, you know, this is what I got into music for, is to, is to explore. I'm, I still get nervous before the show. It give, gives me a little bit of excitement, which I really didn't have before because I was comfortable as a singer and a songwriter, but I'm not comfortable as a, as a lead guitar player. But I think that angst kind of adds to the overall music. Under the Sun. You know, it's a kind of a combination of, of all the things that I've gone through and, and uh, all the different sounds that I've developed over the years. And it doesn't really have one consistent sound. I mean, other than, than being a Brandon Jenkins record, I guess. Don't mean you can't have faith or trust in anyone. Just know that in the end, looking out for number one. Kind of goes back to the the song is called "There's Nothing New Under the Sun," and uh, kind of references that it's all been done before. All the things that we get uh, excited about or worried about, uh, just the things that that we've been going through for years, millennia, since the beginning of time. Nothing new under the sun. I want, to, I want everybody to, you know, to hear my music. We say a prayer before we start every night that we want to not only play good songs, but we want to change people's lives with our music. And I look back at songs like Feet Don't Touch the Ground and Finger on the Trigger, and I know those songs have changed people's lives. I've had people call me or write me. And, uh, you know, I mean, we enjoy playing and being rock stars and all that, but really I, what gets me off is knowing that my songs made a difference in somebody else's life. And, and that's what I try to do. Well, we're gonna place the blame 